What's going on everyone? Mike here and this is the Acer ZenBook UX303 LN. It's a 13-inch Ultrabook, so it's sleek, light and snappy. But unlike most other similar devices, this one packs an NVIDIA 840M graphics chip, the kind of graphics we're usually getting on larger multimedia laptops. And these graphics, on top of the other features, should put this ZenBook on your map if you're after a compact and powerful computer. The fact is this ZenBook UX303 LN can actually run games better than any other 13-inch Ultra Portable. Setting the resolution to 13 by 7 should expect frame rates of above 30 per second in titles like Crisis, Bioshock Infinite, Battlefield 4, Starcraft 2, Skyrim and others, even when pushing details to high. Of course, pumping up the resolution to 19 by 20 will require you to drop the details to medium or even low in some cases, but even so, that's not bad for an ultra portable. If you want to know exactly what to expect in terms of frames per second in some of the titles mentioned before, see the written review on ultrabookreview.com. It's the first link in the description just below the like button. Of course, cramming this kind of graphics inside the thin body will cause the case and the internals to heat up. Gaming on your lap is not going to be possible, as the underbelly tends to get really hot under load, but other from that, you should be fine. Anyway, let's take a step back and have a proper look at this ZenBook. The UX303 LN is truly beautiful. Design-wise, it borrows most of its lines from the 2012 Asus Ultrabooks with a fully metallic body while dropping the glass-covered case and the redesigns we've seen on the 2013 models. And that's a decision I salute. The entire laptop is made out of aluminum and it feels quite solid. The lid does flex a bit, but the underbelly is rigid, so the laptop won't squeak and grab like some of the older models did. The characteristic concentric circles pattern on the lid cover is still present on this ZenBook, but that has been somewhat toned down, and so has the brushed aluminum covering the palm rest on the older ZenBooks, which is now a lot smoother. All these subtle changes might not mean much, but in my opinion just give this new ZenBook a more refined aspect. And at the same time, the new ZenBook hasn't lost any of its practical aspects. The screen can be easily lift up with a single hand, and there's a solid selection of ports on the sides, plus some adapters included in the pack as well. There are still some design decisions that I don't agree with, like the cooling grid integrated within the screen's hinge, which pushes hot air towards the display and indirectly towards the user, or the sharp front lip which aggressively cuts into my wrist when using the trackpad or the arrow keys, but I can probably learn to live with this. Moving on, while the UX303 LN has denounced the design lines of its predecessor, the UX302 LG, it inherits its keyboard and touchpad. A fairly good keyboard by the way, with some flex in the middle, but nice feeling and proper side square keys. They don't offer a lot of travel, so you'll need some time to get used to this keyboard, but give it a few hours and you'll probably end up liking it. The touchpad is large and nicely separated from the palm rest by these beveled edges. Its glass surface doesn't offer a lot of friction, but it is accurate and responsive, both when performing casual taps or gestures. All in all, there's not a lot to complain about the keyboard and touchpad. You'll find better on some devices, but these are definitely not bad either. But while on this front, the UX303 LN is similar to last year's UX302, when it comes to its display, things have changed. The new ZenBook sports the same 13.3-inch 3200x1800 pixel touchscreen we've seen on the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro, a controversial panel with a pentile matrix. It's sharp and given Windows 8.1 scaling improvements, most elements are going to look great on it. It's also fairly bright, has wide viewing angles and very little light bleeding around the edges. But the colors are way off especially yellows, which have a mustard-like tint. However, there's clearly a calibration problem on this particular unit, so hopefully Asus will address it on the final retail versions. That aside, the display is holding place by a massive and sturdy hinge, so it's not going to wobble much when pinched or touched, and you're going to do that a lot since it's a touchscreen. On the other hand, this display won't lean back fully flat, which for me is a problem and the glossy glass coating can be annoying when using the laptop in bright light. All in all, this high resolution panel is good but not without flaws, and personally I would have preferred the standard 1920x1080 pixel panel on a gaming laptop. It's not like the hardware allows you to run the games at native resolution anyway. Hopefully Asus will offer such a screen on some models, as they tend to create a bunch of configurations for their units, and that's actually great since the UX303 LN leaves some room for upgrades. I'll tell you more about that in the written review. Speaking of the configuration though, I do have the beefiest one here, with the updated Intel Haswell Core i7-4510U processor, 12GB of RAM and the 256GB SSD plus the dedicated NVIDIA graphics. So no wonder the UX303 LN flies in anything you might throw at it, from basic tasks to games and multimedia. And as long as you don't push it too much, it runs quiet and cool. Another important aspect we should talk about is the battery. This ZenBook packs an average size 48Wh battery and that translates in about 5 to 7 hours of daily use. My usage scenario keeps the laptop on balance mode, with Wi-Fi on, screen on 50% and the keyboard's brightness at level 1. 
while performing various daily tasks including browsing, chatting, watching movies on YouTube, some light photo editing in Photoshop, some test editing, listening to some music. You can squeeze more than 6 hours if you use the laptop lightly and dim the screen, and at the same time you'll get under 2 hours when running games or other heavy tasks. Alright, all this being said, we can conclude that I really like this laptop. It's a solid option for those of you looking for portability and dedicated graphics in their machine. You won't find another 13 incher with similar specs, build quality and weight, but at the same time the compact body does translate in rather high temperatures under load and, corroborated with its other top features, a pretty high price tag. In fact the price and the availability are going to make or break this laptop in my opinion. And for now I can't say for sure how much this is going to cost and when it's going to be available in stores. Not for the time being, but I'll keep you updated on the site. Alright, so there are plenty of reasons why you should like this Zenbook. However, if you're not after a compact ultrabook with dedicated graphics, or if you want something more powerful, able to run flawlessly all the recent games at high details, the UX303 LN might not be the ideal device for you. But don't worry, you've got plenty of other options and I'll tell you all about them on my site ultrabookreview.com, where you'll also find a more detailed review of this Zenbook, with benchmarks, pictures, gaming results, tips on how to upgrade it and so on. Anyway guys, that's about it for now. Let me know what you think about this Zenbook UX303 LN in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And of course, if you like the clip, make sure to hit that thumbs up button on your way out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.